too. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. <laughs> Welcome back after hopefully you had a good, a very good 4th of July weekend. And of course, the news still continues, and Obama is, of course, increasing taxes on the millionaires and billionaires. Yes, all of us millionaires and billionaires out there. And oh, closing those loopholes? What is it? Closing the loopholes? Yeah, no, corporate, the corporate jets. jets. Oh, yeah, that all of you own. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Debt deal not that far out of reach. Oh, I know that's what the news is just talking about. Does anybody seriously <laughs> believe the Republicans are going to agree? It can't pass the House, folks, where he's going to simply, I mean, first of all, here, here's how it works. They always raise taxes. No matter what they say, they'll raise taxes. But they're going to raise taxes in a not like Obama wants on, you know, get rid of those corporate jets. You know, they're going to raise taxes on, like they're going to add uh, taxes to cigarettes. They're going to stick a tax on consumption of something. They basically what it is, they're going to do it, though, everybody agrees on sin taxes. That's the real simple thing. Oh, really? So you'll get taxes raised, and they will cut corporate loopholes. But one of the loopholes is, if we cut oil, if we're going to cut oil loopholes, then we're going to cut the ethanol mm -hmm. out. And Democrats won't go for cutting ethanol out. Oh, that's right, because he said this morning, no ethanol cuts in subsidies. No ethanol cuts in subsidies, period. So you've already been told there won't be any oil. So mm -hmm. there, there, there is no bargaining blocks. The Democrats are firmly entrenched on raising tax. I mean, but here, I, I love this. We've got to go leapfrog over the truth. We're going to cut spending from what was originally approved, and we're mm -hmm. going to use... Instead of borrowing money to pay our bills, we're going to use the new taxes to pay. They're going to cut spending by 5% over what they planned, which and they plan to increase spending by 25%. Ah, and they're going to use that money that they're going to bring in on taxing those millionaires and billionaires to, in, to cover the increased spending, which doesn't change the deficit period. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they said the most they're going to bring in is $40 billion. And they have... Yeah, it's forty billion, and uh, the the uh, the interest is four hundred billion a year. Uh, it doesn't even get. It doesn't even, it can't even knock it down. Um, Transformers uh, make takes the box office for the Fourth of July for an all time record. Well, not really. They've already. I mean, I heard them. They said uh, they charged. Okay, take five dollars off of seventy percent of all the tickets. Why? Because they charge five dollars a piece more for the tickets for the for the Transformers than they did for the all-time record. Oh. So you automatically come in at they said they come in and not uh, they, they said they don't come in at a hundred and twenty million. They come in at about ninety-seven million, which is below the all-time record. And it also did not come in for the record for five days. It didn't even hit its own total for five days. Oh. It came in less in the United States, and it, it, and it basically came in less overseas. But the trick was, the first week was not combined with the first week of release in the United States the last time. So when they combined them together, you had a record first week release, except for the fact that, uh, you know, the Pirates actually beat it because the Pirates did it in three days. Isn't that fun how numbers go? It, it's how, it's it, Hollywood it, numbers. It's Hollywood numbers. And if you think that's, it's like they use that same type of accounting when they do surveys. Oh, yeah. I can guarantee you, we went to the movies, folks. We went to the movies during prime time, you know, get your kids into the theater time. What was there, 20, 30 people in the theater? I know. We might have, well, okay, maybe we got a matinee, but still, it was the day after it opened. The it, was, it was the day after it opened. They, they get the people in at the matinees because that is big, that's crunch time for them because that's when the kids are available. Mm -hmm. And great fiscal survival, vital for Eurozone, Finman. Okay, first of all, they're rioting in France because France is trying to, France doesn't have any money. Okay, uh, the, basically the Strauss guy who was supposed to replace Sarkozy because he's a fiscal conservative and Obama doesn't like is basically getting ready to be drop all charges against him and he's going to be the next president of France. You know, I mean, like I said, Obama couldn't have done more to help a fiscal conservative be put in charge. I mean, first of all, they like Frenchmen with, with sex scandals. 
That's France. That's France. I mean, they like that in France. I mean, the French are basically, their sex scandals are like the guys in Italy pinching girls' butts. You know, if you don't pinch a girl's butt in Italy, you're not going to get elected. If yeah. you don't, you're not a man. But if they're <laughs> floating, they're, they don't have the money to to raise the salaries of the union people in France, but they're floating a $400 billion loan to help out um, Greece. France, Greece. Somehow. That, they, they can't pay their own bills, but they want to float a huge loan. You know, the Francis chair, Francis chair, chair would be 60 some billion dollars. And Fox News Twitter feed hacked since false tweets about Obama. Well, Fox has nothing to do with that. That's uh, that's Twitter that got hacked. Fox didn't get hacked. Oh. You can't hack Fox and use Twitter. You can tw hack Twitter and use Twitter. But basically, you can't go through the Fox system. That's not Oh, that. that's right. Because if they could have done that, they'd have put it out on other things in Fox. So they basically hacked. They did what they did. was um, What happens is, is that you lower the firewalls to do an awful lot of things today. When you lower the firewalls, it lets people get into the main system. Mm -hmm. And Japan Reconstruction Minister quits in fresh blow to PM. Yeah, because of the fact they uh, nobody has a clue of what to do. Um, I know we're going to try, going to try BS the bull. BS. If you were in charge of the problem in <coughs> Japan, what would you do? I think I'd cover the damn stuff in concrete. You mean you would do? You would basically shut it off so people could move back to the area. I know, but I'm just a bull. And Casey Anthony jury begins deliberations. Oh yeah, they said uh, the deliberation, here's this deal, is that they're already, by the time this is done, she'll have been convicted. And they will have done maybe one total hour of deliberation. That seems a little bit... It means what yeah. happened is I heard the experts saying, there is a basic rule of thumb. If you don't spend at least 24 hours in deliberation, they feel that the jury was had a, uh, already was predisposed to convict. Or it works the other way. If you if you release the person within 20, if you find them innocent mm -hmm. within 24 hours, they said they're both overturned in court. They're always well, because part of it is isn't it beyond a reasonable doubt, right? When they come back. Okay. Um, basically, um, <laughs> I, I love this. I actually did a movie called Kangaroo Court, mm -hmm. where. The richest, the, the, the rich guy in the western town wanted the guy that killed his son convicted, even though his, he knew that the guy didn't kill his son. His sister accidentally, the guy's sister accidentally shot her brother while she was trying to shoot the guy that they were trying to charge. And he knew he didn't do it, but he had, he had a kangaroo court convened, and then they hung the guy, and then the city found, the people in the city found out that the daughter you know, his sister killed him, and then, um, you know, it was too late to do anything with them. I mean, that's the whole premise of the whole thing. The town had to pay, I love it, the town paid a heavy penalty for their mistake. They all knew that they were guilty of murder. You know, but they hung the guy. Mm -hmm. Who had the worst penalty? We're going to live the, you know, that, that. I, I, this was, I love Johnny Mac Brown. You know, that we're going to have to spend the rest of our life knowing that we hung an innocent man, and I don't know how we're going to live with it. The guy that got hung, take, you know, he, he's not living with it. He's not living with it. I <laughs> did <laughs> a lot of bad movies, folks. And Obama shows why he's considered America's greatest president by himself, ending the problems with air traffic controllers. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I mean, this is leapfrog Obama. Uh, the unions wanted to have more people hired. Obama gave it to them. Unions didn't want to work as many hours and got paid for working them anyway. Obama gave it to them. Unions wanted to have the guys take off whenever they felt like it because they're tired. Obama gave it to them. Let's see. They got more people hired, higher pay, and more hours off. Um, does that sound like he handled the problem? Of course. <laughs> and he, he, gave he, them, he did. They just did everything. That they wanted. Were they prepared to... Were they prepared to crash airplanes in order to get more what they wanted? It looks like it. Yeah, and if they remembered back to the days of Ronald Reagan. When he fired them all for pulling this nonsense. Mm -hmm. Whereas Obama, who's pro-union, gave them everything that they wanted. So, which is not going to be done because the House of Representatives isn't going to. House of Representatives who controls the purse strings said you're not going to hire anybody. 
you're going to make them do their jobs or, or we'll, we just won't pay them, we should just say we just fire them. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this is a good one. That the, the, only the very young think that 60 is the new 40. <laughs> <laughs>